All right, so do you have a great idea for an invention, but then you fail to take that next step? And then one day you're like in the store or you're watching television and boom, there's your product. Well, it's not your product anymore, your idea right there on the market. And then somebody else is reaping all the profits from it. Not a good feeling, right? Well, our guest this morning is an expert inventor and creator of the Davison Inventing Method designed to help you pursue your ideas. George Davison, AKA Mr. D, is CEO and founder of Davison. Hey, George, good morning to you. Good morning, Danielle. So we were talking a little bit off camera and what did I tell you? I said, I have to admit it, I have had an idea or two or 22. <laughs> but I ended up doing nothing with it. How do I move to that next level? Well, the first thing you do is you check your gut and make sure it's something you really want to do, yeah. and uh, then I would say make sure you get a confidentiality agreement uh, started so that uh, you can feel comfortable talking with someone like me about your idea, mm -hmm. and uh, you'll know that in the end it's going to be your idea no matter what. I want to talk a little bit more about that because I think everybody has an idea in their head, but how do you get it from in here to on that store shelf? It's really three phases, mm -hmm. inventing, affordability, and storytelling. Mm. And you know, it's interesting because you say that you, know, you get so many calls every week from people who have these great ideas yes. that they want to put out there. And now you've got this wonderful webisode series that I have to tell you, I'm so excited about. It's called Dare to Invent. Tell me about it. Dare to Invent is about our heroes, these creative, inventive people who take a chance in the world to get the idea out of their head and go on a path to try and chase it to the store shelves. Well, listen, you don't have to wait anymore to see what they go through because it really is a true story of a person's journey kind of going through this challenging process of bringing their ideas to life. And we've got a little clip of your webisode here, so we want you to check it out. It actually piqued my interest. Let's take a look. Joy Climber's an outgoing person. She loves riding quads in the Colorado desert and attending picnics and get-togethers with her friends. But going to these picnics was starting to become more frustrating than fun. I was invited to a friend's house for a barbecue, so I had decided that I would make deviled eggs. And I carried them in my vehicle, and you know, you go around the corners, and they slide, and you put on the brakes, and they slide. So of course, by the time I got there, they looked horrible. So that's when I decided there has to be something that you can carry the eggs in that will keep them solid and won't have them slide around. Joy came to us with a challenge. The challenge was how to transport deviled eggs and get them to a picnic in perfect form. When I first got Joy's idea, my initial reaction was, I don't really like deviled eggs. Clay was assigned to be the chief creationeer on Joy's idea. He not only had to solve Joy's egg destruction problem, but he also needed to find a solution that was inexpensive to manufacture and able to meet retailers' very specific requirements regarding shelf space, shipping, and manufacturing costs. With that in mind, we decided to target the Glad Company because they were the best-known manufacturers of disposable plastic food containers. The disposable Gladware containers were relatively new on the market at that time. We got some of them in so that we could look at the manufacturing methods on all their different products. The initial design was a disposable covered serving tray with a ring of divots to hold deviled eggs. The initial disposable version went pretty well. It didn't have any problems except that GLAD showed no interest in the project at all. Sometimes it takes years for a concept to get licensed, and a lot of concepts never get licensed. Instead of calling it quits, we shifted gears and targeted a competitor of GLAD's called XHP, which is short for Extraordinary Home Products. They manufacture kitchen-based products that sell at Walmart, Target, and other big retailers. It went through a lot of tweaks and changes. We just kept going back and forth. They wanted something that wasn't disposable. They wanted something that could handle more than just deviled eggs. Joy's idea went back to the drawing board. And Clay insisted on testing it on the front lines. On that thing. All right, here we go. This is product testing at its finest. This is exciting! Right. No problem! All right, let's see how we did here. Oh. Well, I think that the evidence speaks for itself. 
even though those eggs didn't come out perfectly, that testing did provide us with the crucial information to make the necessary tweaks to perfect the product. And then that's when it hit us. We could expand the idea to carry more than just deviled eggs. They went with my basic idea, but they improved on it. XHP licensed the product, and it debuted on QVC, selling 30,000 units. I'm not sure that any of us have really thought that this, even seeing it on QVC, that it was really happening. So when I saw that, I was happy. The party on the go had become an official success. Joy took on the establishment. She actually went out there and took a chance. And it was a big chance. She went out and reinvented the way we transport foods to picnics today. And we even made an effort to congratulate Joy in person. Great. By surprising her with a picnic that she'd never forget. It was your dream. You started all this. Uh, your idea to have a party on the go. And uh, the great news is that uh, we're, we're going to fulfill that dream today. <gasps> That's your first oh one. Oh, my check. God. <laughs> oh my gosh, I I can't even explain. I it was it was a shock. I mean it was it was unbelievable. Her friends was, were hugging her and the kids were all reacting and screaming. I am so thrilled. I really am. I can't believe it. I keep saying things like this don't happen to just people like me and it has and life is good. goodness deviled eggs who knew <laughs> a great ending good for her yes she has a, uh, a great product we had a, uh, a great time all the way through working with her and celebrating out there in the desert toward the end of the segment uh, it was just a win for everybody I'm telling you it was a win for us having you here this morning all right so to find out more about dare to invent and how you can get started with your own idea simply visit the website davison.com that's davison d-a-v-i-s-o-n dot com.